Hello everyone. Today I will be showing the PO system created by me using PHP, JavaScript, and HTML. On front, it uses admin LT3 template, which you can use for your website representation. But in the back, everything works with PHP, JavaScript, and HTML. So on front, you get two options. One is for login, and one is of I forgot my password. I click on it. it simply says contact admin or support and if I have the credentials which I'm so going to show you the admin I am going to show you by using admin credentials you can create an admin account plus also a user account and both have different options so when you log in, we can see the mail by which we have been logged in in the lower right corner. And we get change password option, full screen option, and logout options and create new order. And in in this POS system, you get options of creating order, adding your product, your category, and Order it's currently I have created two orders previously for some checking. I can also add staff to it for creating more users for using this, but they will have less options currently being shown to admin. So let's create a new order, but before let's start from scratch and add a new item. For adding a new item, you have to create a category so you can bind that item to that category. So currently, there is only one category. For creating or adding a new category, you have to click on Add New Category and create a new category. So let's suppose I create a category of potato chips. Here, yeah, category added successfully. Potato chips is a potato chips is added as in category. Now I can add a uh, add a bind product to this created category. Add new part. Simply click on add new product. Add your enter the name of your product. Select the category potato chips I want to use. Select the price. You can use price of 70 enter the stock stock which you have received from warehouse description you can use a barbecue flavor so add item order that is successfully so now if I go into my product here this is the new product I have added. Place potato chips, sale plus 70, store barbecue flavor. You can also add some other new product like Lay's potato chip, 70, store presented, but now with different flavor. Potato and choose flavor. Edit. Now if I go into product list, here it is. This product is now got with the cup flavor. I can edit it again from here or delete it. So let's delete this this item here. Are you sure what you want to delete? Let's delete it. Delete it. Product is successful. Here the product is gone now. Now after we have created a new category, added an item to it. Now I can create a new order. You can create new order from here or from here. So let's create a new order. So let's suppose a random person name. His name is Robin. Select it, which is automatically selected, and times automatically selected. And I click on plus button here. 
now enter quantity let's suppose i want this person wants to buy four product of this item four quantity of this item now you notice that the as i increase the quantity the total is also calculated same the remaining and subtotal is also regulated now if this person by four quantity of this product its subtotal is 280 and i want to give him a discount of 40 automatically the subtotal minus discount is calculated in total and this person pays me by let's suppose 500 now we i have to give him minus 260 it shows in the remaining here we get three options to choose the payment method. Let's suppose we choose cash. We choose cash. Save order. Here. Robin. Order date. Total. Its total was 240. He paid 500. And we turned in 260. And the mode of payment was cash. Now if I click on print. Here. The receipt is generated. It was billed to Robin. Date and time is automatically selected. He bought lays. Quantity was four. Size of one piece was seventy. His total was two eighty. We gave him a discount of forty, and his total became two forty. He paid it for his payment type was cash. Here you can add your own notes, or you can also. Remove it as you want. You can also add new stuff. Currently, I've only added one. Or delete, delete the, or delete other accounts. This option is only available to admin account. So now, if I log out from here, and let's enter for user account. logged in successfully it also shows the username now we are logged in by different mail it's the user mail you see there is no staff registration option there is no staff registration option so there are some also features limited to user is that he can add new product add new category but cannot delete a category there is no delete option he can add new product but cannot add it or but cannot delete product here he cannot delete or add it the product added product same in order list he cannot delete or add it the previously generated orders he can only print it if you print this one here so let's create a new order from this user account now let's create a new category first if i want to show it's just a formality we can use the this one but let's create a new category for checking this account it's working fine so let's create a category of fruits here it's added and a new product and use by good candy to 250 stop is 90 not or 100 So add items of the bone for products here it's added let's create a new order this time let's choose the name create a new order pawn soup here enter quantity let's suppose this person buys two of it 
let's suppose he buys two of it and we give him a discount of 30 and he pays us 1000 here so everything is automatically calculated and we choose this card to pay it here currently we have a stock of 100 we have sold two to it two to this user save order here his total was 470 he paid 1000 and we return him 520 print this invoice here. console to quantity discount we given him grand total and his payment method so now let's check the remaining stock if we go back to create new order and if we check the corn soup stock here yeah, it's now remaining 98 because we sold two to this user so the remaining stock is 100 minus 2 98 and here's my order list my products the user also gets the option to change his password and he can change his password but the old password should match if the old password doesn't match and he tries to enter some new password and he tries to enter a new password he entered old password is wrong thus he cannot get into an admin options that's if there was an edit order option if he types in the edit order page url he will be automatically logged out from his account here yeah. automatically logged out because he tried to get into the admin option so here it is all you can modify this code use this code yes it can it can be improved it is a there are many ways to improve it and you can use it as you want i have created it from by learning from online sources and using some youtube videos and github so and you guys can do much better than me so you can use it as you want you can use it as it is or you can improve it as you want i will be link sharing file link in the description now you have seen the everything this all data is stored in mysql which is hosted by Zen on your computer i can show you the mysql <coughs> table where it stores here it stores it in this here is our table which is stores all our data of POS if I go into the table product here is our console blaze which we created uh, our newly created products if I go into invoice here is our invoices details like this one his name is UMWR his total was 470 here it is stored UMWR date time his total discount we given him what he paid and here is due amount which we returned and his payment type so everything is stored in mysql on your computer here is our category which we created and invoices details and also the users which have access to this panel i will also be sharing this table with you which you can import after creating after creating a new table you can then import the my given file all you have to do is to choose the file which i have provided in the description and import it and you will get all this table created automatically with all these tabs you don't have to create it by yourself okay thanks for watching in the end you can use it for yourself or you can modify it as you want thanks for watching 
and if you like my video like my world please share it with others